Hi everyone, today we're going, we're going to be talking about the Simple Random Sample, which is a sampling design that you will need to know for AP Statistics, and it's pretty much the most common sampling design you will use in the course. Let's get started. A good question we need to talk about is how we gather data, right? And there are multiple ways to do it. We can take a survey, take a polls, an interview, do, or we can do studies, observational obviously, just take a look at the data, or we can do an experiment to prove cause and effect. That's not really important right now. I'm just saying these are some important ways we collect data, okay? Population. This is a term you need to know. It's the entire group of individuals that we want to collect information about. What does that mean? Let's say we want to collect information about college students. Well, the population of college students would be every single college student at every single college, and for the sake of scope, in the United States, right? Every single college student. And as you can see, collecting that data in a census, which is when we interview, when we take a complete count of every single member in the population, would be very difficult because it would take a hell of a lot of time. And here, and here are some other drawbacks: not accurate because you can't get to everyone. It's expensive. How got to fly people out there to get the data? Perhaps impossible. How the hell are you going to reach every single person? And then this one, I want you to pay attention to is destructive sampling. Veering. A, let me stop talking about the college kids. And let's say you wanted to figure do, or you wanted to take a look at the strength of every single soda can used at the Coca-Cola company, right? Well, in order to determine the strengths, you would have to destroy each can, right? And if you destroy each can, well, then there'd be no cans left to produce, put Coke in, and everyone needs their Coke. You know, Coke, you can't let Coca-Cola go bankrupt by destroying their cans. So, in the interest of Coca-Cola and corporations everywhere, we take samples which is when we, when we take part of the population, we just take a look at certain individuals in the population, and we use that information to, take a, to generalize or make conclusions about the larger population. Sampling design just refers to the method you use to select individuals for the sample. Sampling frame is a list of every individual in the population. So let's say I wanted to look at those college students, right? Well, if I was gonna do a simple random sample, a true simple random sample in its most pure form, I would need a list of every single student. Again, not as daunting as going to see every single student, but it still could take a lot of time to generate said list. Now there are advantages and disadvantages, right? Uh, screw that for now. These two advantages you really need to memorize. They're, an SRS is going to be unbiased if done right, and it's very easy because because essentially all you're doing is picking people and uh, picking people randomly and interviewing them. A disadvantage might be large variance because you have s because let's say you know by chance you get a bunch of people who are close together and one guy whose response is just way out there and you're like what the heck and it throws and it causes big variance. And you must have that sampling frame, which can be a pain in the butt. So let's take an SRS of students, right? In AP Statistics, or what I'm about to show you, is a procedure you're going to need in AP Statistics in order to perform simple random samples, right? They're gonna, you're going to get questions like, write out a simple random sample or a sampling design to take a sample of students or objects or whatever they ask you to that day, right? And what you're going to need is a hat, some paper, and that's it, hat and paper, right? And every time you get a question that asks you to design a simple random sample, you're going to say, well, I'm going to get write everyone's name down on sheets of paper, equal size sheets of paper. From the, You're going to take the sampling frame, put each person's name or number or whatever on, the, on an equal size piece of paper, and you're going to drop it into the hat. And you're just going to shake this hat around, right? You're just going to shake it around real evenly and thoroughly, and you're going to draw out however many numbers of objects you need for your sample, right? And just psh, spits them out. And if done correctly, if you include the fact that you shook the hat and that you each side, each paper was of equal size and you put it in the hat and shook it around, the list you generate should be an unbiased sample of the population. And those, these people, or these objects that you generate, will be what you interview to collect data. Well, I finished that under five minutes. Next time, I'll talk about other sampling methods. Isn't that exciting? Isn't it?